It'll be interesting to see whether you two turns out to be mightier than the pen, which is supposedly mightier than the sword. I don't know about guided munitions. The narcotic choice for wars. Never have I seen so many good people wasted so badly. Israel and the United States are now winners. Iran and Syria are not winners. Hezbollah are not winners. War on terror is a big loser. Canada and the United Nations are not winners. Those that divide us, they're not winners either. President George W. Bush and John Walters, U.S. Drug Czar. John Walters, no man in history has put more drugs, more crime, more guns, more scams, more shams on the streets of Canada, or the streets of the world for that matter. It's not that his heart's not in the right place, a case of elite trying to fix the street. It's just like George W. Bush, another elite trying to fix the street, but this time the streets of the world. And we all know how this is beginning to turn out. The real threat lies in an elite few, who because they are highly intelligent, they think this also makes them smart. Theorizing on security's need, while your aides spin and manipulate the message, of an habitual obsession with power does not a leader make. We are about to get whacked if the suit nuts and dream thieves of our world flourish. and more wobbly than any other national figure. Sounds like an auctioneer selling off our national security. But Americans need to know the facts. The answer lies with each of us. As globalization roars through the world, taking nothing with it but greed and the need to make money, To casualize later. Inside the box, there lies one last chance between cooperation and catastrophe. Integrity is not a 200-page document. Once upon a time on the street, you either had it or you did not survive.